Hello and welcome to another Inkscape for Teachers video. In this video we'll be looking at how to demonstrate single point perspective or one point perspective using Inkscape and constructing a diagram much the same as this one. So what I'll do is I'll start up a new Inkscape file or actually no, I'll move over to uh, another area here. Just one thing, if you don't like the page border getting in the way you can always click document properties here and take off the tick in page border. Okay. Now the first thing to do is uh, create a vanishing point, single one. You can do that with a circle, or I like to use it an intersection of guides. Perhaps drag one down from the top ruler, and there you can even snap the guides together there, and that uh, intersection can represent the single vanishing point. If we're doing a uh, rectangular prism. We start with a, a rectangle, obviously, and the rectangle tool or R. Then we change the Bezier pen tool or B, and we snap from the corner to the vanishing points. But I haven't got snapping turned on. I'll turn that on now and ensure that uh, snap to paths and snap to cusp nodes is turned on. Now you see it snap, click, click, and enter, and do the same from each point. What we're doing is stretching back to the infinity, I guess, or the horizon line. And that'll do for this one. Now we decide how far back we want the back face to be. So B for busier pen tool, if you've lost that. Click on a path, control to constrain to vertical. Click when it snaps to the next path and enter. And then across this way, I could have done it in one hit. But I'll do them all the separate lines. And there we have it. Now to colour faces, I like to um, again use the Bezier pen tool, but start uh, from the bottom left and go clockwise. If you were thinking of uh, putting some perspective text in here, um, that's the way you've got to do it before you apply the extension for um, perspective. Anyway, I'll click there and go clockwise. And I'm not going to do that in this video, but uh, just a good habit to get into, I think. And click, give that a fill. Again, bottom left clockwise. If you're just doing it, uh, not putting text on a face or anything that you want in perspective, you can just do it in any order. And another colour. And depends which one you wanted to consider. If you're writing down this way, this would be your bottom left. So you go clockwise from there. And I'm snapping to the corners and click on the red. And give that a fill. Maybe a dark green, something like that. Now if you don't want the guidelines, you can click on those and delete or you can hide them. Uh, I might uh, choose to hide them actually. So I'll control shift O to bring up the object uh, dialog box and I'll click hide there. Actually I'll do it on the shift click on both of them. Now you can only do one at a time apparently. So hide that. If I'd group them it would be one object and then I could uh, hide them in one hit. And then we have it. If you don't want the guides, you can also go view, take the tick out of guides, and there's the object, similar to the other one here, slightly different shape. You can control G to group it, and drag that around anywhere you like. But of course, if you unhide the guides, they won't line up there anymore. You could trace back from these edges to find that point, I guess. Anyway, there's a single point perspective demonstration. Uh, look, I have shown in other videos, sometimes if you zoom in at sharp angles you see funny things going on there. So what I might do is a marquee around the lot, control G to group, so I'm operating on one object. Actually, no, that, um, that's no good, control Z. I'll control U to ungroup everything. And with it all ungrouped then these become options. So I'll try rounded joins, let's have a look at that now. You can see that's uh, tidied that up nicely on that corner. So there we have it, single point perspective using Inkscape, a terrific uh, demonstration and drawing tool. Until next time, bye for now.